If you want to start your own clothing brand or just want to make a bag selling t-shirts on TikTok shop, do not even think about print on demand for three reasons. First, the quality is crap inconsistent and you have limited options for placements and garments. Second, it is expensive, at least when you compare it to the method that I'm going to show you. And third, lots of TikTok shops that are doing print on demand are getting suspended because these companies do not ship in time or they ship from different warehouses, which is a problem with TikTok shops. I've been selling merch for 15 years and I sell in every e-commerce marketplace that you can imagine. And to tell you the truth, I've seen a lot more competition over these past years due to new technologies and companies that allow more people to enter this market. I'm talking about print-on-demand companies like Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Printful, etc. But despite that, my merch keeps selling more and more every year. And that's because everybody needs new clothes and there's always new events, trends and new marketplaces that allow you to rank your designs and get a piece of this huge pie. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started selling merch on TikTok shop and how to be your own supplier so you don't rely on anyone. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1, yeah! Alright, so here are the steps that we will cover today. How to make a TikTok shop, how to get the designs, how to get high quality mockups that are compliant with the TikTok shop rules. I'm going to show you how to make and order DTF transfers, where to get the blanks, how to print the merch, and finally, I'm going to show you the easiest and cheapest way to ship your merch. So the first step is to sign up for TikTok shop and I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can do so. You just need your phone number or your email to sign up and then make sure that you select your country. Now you're also going to need either a valid driver's license or a passport so they can make sure that you are on the country that you are signing up with. And you can sign up as an individual with your social security number or as a company with your EIN number. Now, once you finish the registration, you still need to do a few steps that they will guide you through here. And very important, you have to set up your fulfillment settings and also your shipping options. You have to add your warehouse address, your return address and all of that. But I already have a video covering all of this in detail. You can check it out right here. Completing all the steps of the registration shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. And once you finish everything, they have to review your account before you can start selling. And that normally takes a couple hours. So now let's move to the next step how to find niche ideas that you can make merch about, either shirts, hoodies, hats. And if you're a clothing brand, you can probably skip this section because you already have your logo and your designs. But let's say that you have no idea about what kind of designs to make. Well, you can go to a website like randomwordgenerator.com and click on noun. In here, you're gonna select number of nouns 10 and you're gonna generate random nouns and it will give you a list of random words that you can then input into Amazon. Check this out. So for example, classroom. Let's copy this word, go to Amazon and let's put it here, followed by t-shirts. And you can get some ideas of shirts that other people are making about classrooms. Like I don't need a Valentine's, I have a classroom full of them pre-K where the adventure begins. Not all classrooms have four walls with a design in the middle. Let's check another one. Let's check law. If it takes three years to get there, it better be one hell of a bar. All right. Born to argue. All right. Well, you get the idea. I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. Now that's a very basic way of finding some ideas. This is if you absolutely have no clue of what to make. But normally you will have an idea already of what kind of niche you want to focus on. And you can just use this for inspiration, not to copy it, just for ideas. But now that you have the idea, how do you make the designs? Well, you have a few options. One of my favorite ways of designing new t-shirts is by using the Embato Elements free templates. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can get a subscription to Embato Elements. Once here, you're just gonna type t-shirt design and you're gonna filter by graphic templates. And then you can also refine further if you choose print templates, which will be templates ready to just change the text, the images a little bit, and they will be ready to print in very high quality. For example, this one here, this file has a bunch of templates here that you can just edit, you know, change the text that you want and all of that. 
So yeah, that's a pretty cool and fast way of making cool designs. If you don't want to mess with Photoshop, you can also use Placeit. And I'm going to leave the link in the description to this tool because it's amazing. So here you're going to go to designs and then you're going to click, for example, on apparel and print and then t-shirt designs. And it will give you thousands of designs that you can actually alter inside the website. For example, let's just narrow it down to, let's say, party shirts. And let's say that I like the layout of this design. You can just click on it and you can change everything. You can change the text. You can change the fonts here. For example, let's change it to this other font and you can change what it says. And you can also change the images. You can edit and I don't know, we can change it for something else. See, so you can just make the design here very easily. Just remember to always change the background color to transparent, okay? always transparent because we will need this for a future step. Another option is to hire a designer to make the shirts for you and you can use Fiverr. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And here, see, they would make, this guy would make typography and custom t-shirts from $5. And another option that you have is to use AI. Like you can just ask ChatGPT, you have to be on the pro version so you can use the DALI extension. You can say shirt design related to low with a white background and it generates that. Now, the problem with this is that AI doesn't really do well with words yet. So this would be for something more like just designs, not really something that has some text inside. But yeah, it's an option and it's gonna get better. So this might be viable in the near future. Now that you have the designs, you need high quality mockups and we're gonna use Placeit for that. Again, link in description. So in here, you're gonna go to mockups and you're gonna choose apparel. You can make mockups for hats, hoodies, leggings, onesies. You can even make videos automatically with your design that look actually pretty good, all right? But let's go, in this case, let's go with hoodies. So let's see the options, all right? There's, you know, thousands and thousands of mockups that you can make. Like, look at this guy. Let's say that you're making shirts about horses, you know? This would be a perfect mockup for you. But let's choose, I don't know, let's choose this one and let's add a design. So we're just gonna drop it right there. It's gonna crop it and it's gonna give you a preview of how it's gonna look on this right side. Let's just position it, make sure that it looks good. All right, that's good. Create and there you go. You have a mock-up, a high quality mock-up that is indistinguishable from a real shirt. And here it will automatically generate other models with the same mock-up that you can just click and adjust and adapt. And also down here is gonna create other mock-ups with different garments. Like here is a hoodie, but this one, this is a shirt. And look, this is a hoodie with no hood. I don't know, a sweatshirt, right? So yeah, you can easily generate a bunch of images. Of course, let's say this one, maybe you don't want it that low. You actually want it a little bit higher. So you just click on it, click on resize, and then just, you know, just put it whatever you want it and click on crop again, and there you go. Then you can just download the images. Now comes the best part, because I'm going to show you how you can print these shirts yourself and have way better quality than any print on demand company, and also a lot cheaper. So it will give you more margin and more room to play with the price, more profits, more locations, well, many more advantages. So we're gonna use a new technology called Direct to Film. DTF for short. And you can use a company like DTF Lama. I'm gonna leave the link in the description and I have something to tell you about this company in a little bit. Basically, you can import your designs on this website and they will send you a transfer that you can just iron on if you don't have a press, but if you have a press, you can also press them on and the quality is amazing, okay? It's not the old school iron-ons that they used to do on the mall that would crack or, or, you know, fade away when you wash them. These are actually retail quality premium. Just think, you know, Gucci, think something like that, you know. This is as high quality as that. You basically just iron it on or heat press it, then you peel it and you repress it. And I'm gonna show you the entire process. But first, let me show you how you can import the designs into DTF Llama. So you're gonna click on Design Online. And here you can choose the size of the transfer that you want. For example, let's go with 13 by 52. The bigger you get it, the cheaper it is gonna be per square inch. But the prices are super cheap. Let's actually just go with the biggest one, 13 by 104. Now you wanna import your design. So you're just gonna click on image and drag and drop the designs that you have. So for example, this one here, 
queens are born in April, this is going to be extremely big, okay? Each one of these squares is one square inch. So this design is, is huge, all right? You need to reduce the size. Maybe you can reduce it like this, uh, rotate it, all right? So you can fit a few more, all right? Just like that. You can use this for a hoodie or for a shirt, right? So then you can use, you know, you have it there. Now you can make a few copies. Let's just make another copy, put it there, make another copy, put it there. Then you can also add, you know, neck tags, you know, with your brand, the size. So you actually have a clothing brand and you can make so many. Look how much space you still have left. And all of that for $45. Now make sure that you select hot peel because this will allow you to work a lot faster and you can even use an iron to put on these transfers. But let me actually show you the process of what you will receive and also how to apply this in real life. All right, so you're gonna receive a tube just like this one and inside there's gonna be all of your transfers that you design on the end. You can see here, this is gonna be a 13 by 104 inch row. You can see how many shirts you can make with just one roll. Look, each one of these is a t-shirt. Each one of these is a t-shirt. Each one of these is a t-shirt. Probably, you know, just a hard print, right? So you can make so many shirts with just one transfer. And of course, here we're limited to red and black in this example. But look, you can print you know, designs of any colors that you want. Look at that. No, rainbow. It doesn't get any more colorful than that and it can be printed. You see, you don't have any limitations. And also, look at this, you can also do your neck tags. Look at that. You Come here, come closer, cameraman. Look at this. You see how thin those lines are? That's no problem with the DTF transfers. And since these are hot fill, I'm gonna show you in a second how you can put the tags in just one second. So, you know, really good. And it's pretty windy outside. Let me actually show you this. Look at this. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. See this? Wow, that was a lot of wind, but it's not even a hurricane. Did you saw that guy there sitting, just chilling, minding his own business? That's just any normal day here in Miami. Now I'm going to show you how to apply these transfers onto shirts. Now you have the no budget option where you will just get your mom's iron and iron the transfer onto the shirt and it will work pretty well, but it will take quite a while, you know, to do each shirt. Now if you upgrade to a heat press, it's gonna make it a lot faster. Look at this. I am working right now on this clothing brand. Let me just show you how quickly the process is and why you do not need print on demand. You can do this all by yourself. So see, I just positioned the shirt in here. I have the heat press set up at around 300 Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna put this front print. I also have things for the back. So we're just gonna position it in the center here, chest print, Let's just lock it down. We're gonna apply some pressure. Right now I have it at two. You can go from two to six, it doesn't really matter. These transfers are very forgiving, the temperature, the pressure, it's very easy to use, okay? You can't really mess it up that easy, not like other processes. All right, so I had it for 15 seconds. Open it and just peel it right away. See that? The design is perfectly printed. Now you can sell this directly right now. It will not crack or anything, but I like to give it a second press, right? Just for three, four seconds, right? That's it. That's the second press. Now it's gonna make it, if it had any shine, some colors have a little bit of shine, but with the second press, it just looks matte. And the texture is perfect. There's no cracking, there's no scratching, you know? So the, the quality is really good. And look at this. Look how many I've made so far. See, you sell these ones for $25 each. You can imagine how much money you're making. And you can make about 60 of these per hour, at least 60 of these. Look at the neck tags, you see, you have them right there. You know, perfect. Right, now you have a brand. Now let me show you how easy and fast it is to put your own neck tags. Now, first of all, make sure that your shirt has a tear away label, okay? Just so you can rip it like that. And you're just gonna position it here. This is actually a hard press. You can also do it with the iron, but this is faster. Once you're working with volume, I recommend that you invest in one of these. You can get them for like a hundred bucks on Amazon. Just center the label there, put it down one second and that's it 
you see it's one second right for the shirts you actually need you know 15 seconds you want to make sure that it is washable for at least 50 cycles so that's what you put in 15 seconds and then you also can increase the durability by doing the second press all right for three to four seconds well yeah this is done all right now while we're at it let's actually do this hat because maybe you guys want to sell hats instead of shirts well for the hats actually you're gonna need 15 seconds so you just put the hat over there let me just increase the timing to 15 seconds instead of one all right now it's at 15 seconds let's get the transfer let's put it right there center it just like that and put it down now let's just wait 15 seconds and that's it look come over here you see that it actually ripped away the thing you didn't even have to peel it and that's the advantage of the hot peel that you can peel right away and sometimes you know in, depending on the type of garment that you are pressing it then it can also you know just peel it by itself when when the press opens so that's also pretty neat this hat is ready to sell you know you can sell this hat i don't know 20 bucks 25 bucks all depends on you and how cool your designs are now to get the blanks for super cheap, I'm talking about t-shirts, hoodies, hats, etc. I recommend that you get a wholesaler account on one of these two companies if you're in the United States. The first one is Sanmar and they have everything, t-shirts, polos, sweatshirts, caps, activewear, bags. So for example, you click on caps and well, they have thousands of styles, all right? And this is not the price that you're going to be paying because if you have a wholesaler account, you're going to pay at least 50% less than this. Sometimes it's up to 70% less. And the other company that I recommend is SNS Activewear. And just to give you an example, the shirt that I was printing before is the next level brand. And here you can see the prices look tank tops for $2.68. That's super cheap. And actually I get them even cheaper because of the volume. But at least when you get a wholesaler account, you're gonna get this price, $2.68 for a t-shirt. And the one that I was using is this one. Look, $3.99 for the shirt. So let's just click on it. Actually, I pay $3.65. I pay a little bit less just because of volume. If you have even more volume than me, you can get them for even cheaper. And these prices fluctuate a little bit depending on how much stock they have. Like on COVID, it raised the price a lot. It raised to like $4.20, but now it's coming back down. And just to give you an idea of the price and how much money you can be saving, let's just go to Printful here, one of the print-on-demand websites, and let's search for the shirt. So they don't have the same exact shirt, the 6210. See, they don't have that much variety, but they have the 3600, which is a little bit cheaper. And look, it starts at $16.25. And this is, of course, without including the tag or anything like that. And let's say, for example, that you're printing this design. On a 104 inch gang sheet, you can print at least 45 of them. It costs $45. So let's assume that you can only fit 45 and you will still have a lot of room for, you know, neck labels and all of that on all the sizes. But let's say that you can only fit 45. That will cost you $1 per shirt plus the three dollars and 65 cents let's say that you're actually paying full price let's say that you're paying four dollars and nine cents it's gonna cost you only five dollars to have the finished product and look here they are charging 16 dollars and 25 cents plus the shipping that starts at four dollars and 69 cents so you have to sell this shirt for 22 dollars just to break even if you're using print on demand. But if you're using DTF transfers, you can sell this for $5 plus shipping and just, you know, break even. So, you know, you have a lot more margin, which is extremely important in business. And you might be asking, but Econbull, then I have to do all the work. Yeah, bro, but you're saving so much money. And if you wanna compete with other sellers, you need to have the advantage of the DTF transfers and the advantage of making it yourselves. Plus the quality is gonna be a lot better than this, way, way better. And you're not gonna be risking a TikTok shop suspension just because you are print on demand company shipped late or they ship it from a different warehouse. And when it comes to shipping, it's actually super simple. Let me show you. Now it's time to ship the shirt. So we're gonna fold it really quickly, all right? You can make one of these folders at home, all right? You search on YouTube how to make a t-shirt folder gonna hold it just like that and now to ship it you have to protect your shirt okay so it looks higher quality so you can get one of these OPP bags on Amazon 
you can buy 1,000 for around $35. You can include your thank you card and then just close it just like that. Now, you're also gonna need a pulley bag to ship it. Now this costs about $45 for a thousand of them, but once you have volume, you can make your own custom poly bags, all right? I bought 20,000 of these, and it cost me two cents per bag. Also, instead of using this one from Amazon, I bought 20,000 of these ones, and they cost me around 1.5 cents per OPP bag. The most cost-effective way to ship shirts is by using the transparent bag that is nine by 12, and then using the mailing bag that is 10 by 13 inch, right? So you'll just put it inside, close it like that, and then stick the label right there. And then you have your shirt ready to go. You can fit up to three shirts on a 10 by 13. After selling thousands and thousands of shirts, I can guarantee that this is the cheapest way to ship t-shirts, all right? And it's gonna cost you about $4.15 in the United States to ship this via USPS first class. All right, so I hope you're excited about this new technology and this new opportunity for you to launch your clothing brand or just make a bag selling t-shirts. Now, I do have to tell you something about the company DTF Lama. Well, it's actually one of my companies and I created it because when the direct-to-garment technology emerged, I want to try it for myself because I didn't want to rely on print-on-demand companies. Once I knew it worked, I expanded the business to offer other clothing brands and business owners that want to get in the game, you know, just to offer them high quality transfers that they can rely on. Now, you don't have to buy them from me. There's probably a bunch of websites now that are selling DTF transfers, but I do not guarantee their quality, okay? So try it out if you want. And as a thank you, I'm gonna give you a special coupon code. Just put Ecom Bull on checkout, all right? And it will give you a sweet discount. Now, I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please give it a like and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Now, watch this video if you want to learn how to take your business and use TikTok Shop Affiliates to put it in the next level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.